Well, here it is. The ribbon has been cut on Luna Island. There they go. Part of three attractions that underwent a makeover at Niagara Falls, and more upgrades are on the way. News 4's Ed Dranch is here with a look at all the changes. Ed? Jackie, $25 million worth of change, which will be completed in phases. This was just phase one, but still tonight the question remains, will this help bring more money to the falls? After a year of construction and millions of dollars spent on rehabilitating Niagara Falls State Park, hey, hey, the history books, huh? golden scissors were used to cut the green ribbon, welcoming visitors back to Luna Island. Rose Harvey is the commissioner of state parks. It's experienced wear and tear, and it, it needs to be refurbished, revitalized, and that's what we're doing. All the way from Germany, Jacqueline Chugre was one of the first to step foot on the new cobblestone walkway, getting up close views of the breathtaking Bridal Vale Falls. It's so wonderful here. Um, the, yeah, the whole atmosphere and all the nature, yeah, it's great. This renovation is part of a $25 million project, one that was years in the making, taking what once looked like this to this, with new walkways, railings, and greenery. All of this money spent on all of these upgrades is all well and good, but the fact is a lot more tourist money is spent on the other side of the falls, creating perhaps a missed opportunity for us here in New York State. How do you compare what makes me want to come to New York rather than go to Canada and spend my money over there? Um, this is a different experience. This is an Olmsteadian experience. It's uh, a, a more natural approach. It's making the falls uh, the central uh, focus of the park. And uh, I think th they're two separate experiences. The natural experience many are already starting to enjoy, reinvesting in the improved Niagara Falls. Improvements are still being made throughout the park. Ground was broken, in fact, today for rehab worth millions of dollars at Prospect Point, which is that area right near that tall observation tower, and all of that construction should be done by next summer, Jackie. You know, it, it is important to make the distinction here about preserving what's natural up there. Right. Because this... I mean, we're looking at generations down the road that want to enjoy the same things we've enjoyed. Exactly, there. and it's all about improving the experience, especially for visitors, the millions who come to visit each year. Hopefully, they'll spread the word about how great their trip was and ultimately bring more people here, thus improving the economy in Niagara yeah, Falls. That's always the idea, exactly. isn't it? Thank you very much, Ed.